everybody, welcome back to the Virtual Speed Performance YouTube channel. Today, we got some pretty cool stuff. We, um, these are there sanding on that side, on that post. And uh, we got the uh, housings for the uh, wheelie bars. So here's these housings for the wheelie bars. If you guys wanna go check them out on the Virtual Speed Performance website, the part number is 660 or I'll have them on, in, in the link in the description below, but, Basically, they set up like that, and then these two will go over there, and there. And it looks like we're gonna need to, looks like we're gonna need to cut, cut the rest off here. As you can see, I left that, but we're gonna need to cut the rest off and then tack it, make sure it's, a good fit and then once we got it where we like it we'll do a final weld I know what is fucking dirty right, it's gonna be right in the middle of traffic <laughs> man it looks like some graffiti or got the tag gun Camaro yeah alright so I cut the rest of the wheelie bar housing off you could continue man so I cut the the rest of the wheelie bar housing off. Here's the uh, new ones. Um, obviously, I left that back plate. That's just not gonna work because it needs to sit on there like so. It looks good. That's that's what it needed to be. I think honestly, I think it needs to be uh, up a little high because of no no it needs to because you know what I mean. Yeah. So I was also. I might need to cut that bottom brace off too. That's what I thought. Just get rid of that. Yeah. Just alleviate both of them. Yeah. So. That way you can put them wherever you want it. Did you do that with the top saw or did you cut I, I did that with the top saw. Okay. So it's a fairly strict cut. Should be. I figured I'll clean it up before I... Mm -hmm. And just kind of make it a little bit straighter. So I got the housing on there. I have two tacks. I have one tack over here. And then I have another tack over yonder. Got the... The uh, quarters look pretty good in primer, with the yeah, carbon, with the uh, cam camouflage spray paint job you got. Guide code. The what? Guide code. It shows me where all the high oil spots on it. Interesting. No more blondie. No, blondie be gone. I got the other wheel housing on there. It's friggin' that that one was a pain in the ass for sure. Uh, for, it just was being a pain in the ass. The first one went like a fly, and then this one is like, you know what? We're gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I think it looks pretty daggum good. Yes, it's awesome, man. It's a good job. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to um, put the bottom bars on, on a car, and then put the top bars on there and see how they all line up. And then if it all lines up good, take the bars back off, Finish welding everything. It's nine o'clock at night and he's cutting bars out here. Yep. I'll show you. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I, it looks familiar. I just, <laughs> I'm just a little confused. <laughs> Look at that. Shoot, buddy. Man, you got a full on race car back there. God dang. All right, you look legit. Our neighbor bought a drag truck, an S10, a little bracket car. It's uh, it's, it's pretty neat little S10. Not the uh, not gammy, the white S10. 
the, the uh, his next door neighbor bought a drag car. We are hoping we can turn everybody on our block into drag racers. So the new parachute cable came for the Mustang. You gotta take the door off, route it through the car, and run it through here. So we'll get started on that. It's pretty dusty. There's a lot of there's a lot of freaking dust from sanding and all that. Everything has a good layer of dust on it. It's it's very annoying actually. But uh at least we got this coming. Do we have a set of wheelie bars that are being built for the car? And then we're gonna take the coal overs off, get them revalved, refreshened up. Unfortunately I couldn't get a red one, but it is uh the car red and black, so it works. The other parachute cable is red, so that's why I'm like, well, too bad we can't get a, 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 a red one. But like I said, the car's red and black, so it works. Back window is on Zeus's, so it's easy to take out. Instead of the little, little allens and screws like what's on the Camaro or what have you, you just pop out the Zeus's and do what you need to do. While it's out, I'll probably clean the tubs a little bit, wax the tubs while they're out. That way it's a nice and shiny back here. And I'm gonna route that um, cable through here and run it down through there and through there and should be good to go. Got the cable routed, got the cable routed through there, hooked up. And come through the trunk and boom. We have a whole lot of ex excess, but that's okay because we can trim it up and cut it that, to where we need it. So I guess we could loop it through there and then loop it through here. And then I only need one cable and go. But so last night I was tinkering with wheelie bars and um, the top bars need to be shortened, which I'm working on that right now. I have some stuff coming for the um, for the upper bars, the upper hymes, because I need to, if I'm going to shorten the bars, I need to get um, a new hime in you know, different Heim inserts. And they're on the car right now. Actually, I just had the bottom bars on. But uh, yeah, their bars are actually a little, the top bars are a little longer. That's because the wheel housing, the uh, trailer and the race position was in kind of like a different location on the old housing. They were more, they were more like up here, if that makes sense. Like this part was way longer, so. And this, this housing is shorter than the other housing, plus these are in a different location. So I just have them tacked up for right this very second. When I get the Heim inserts for the top bars, I'll put them both up there and I'll see where it all lines up. And if I like it, I'll finish weld it 